Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are starting off with a little different thing today. We are kind of showing you guys my like morning routine on the days that I'm filming videos. So I always start by watering the arena, that way it's not dusty and if you guys have to water your own arena, you know that it is a pain in the ass, but you know what, it happens. So usually what I'll do is I'll drag the arena first and then I'll water the arena and then I'll redrag the arena. But last night we actually re-leveled out our entire arena so it looks so much better. I mean it's still not perfect but it was way better than what it was before. So I'm basically just starting to water it and then I plan to drag it after. Dragging the arena after you water it actually really really helps fluff up your sand. I'll notice a lot of people usually will water their arena and then they won't drag it afterwards. And what happens is I find that the sand actually ends up getting packed down and it doesn't give the same effect as if you were to water it and then drag it after. Unfortunately, we don't have a like water tank on the back of our tractor that we can like use to like water and drag the arena at the same time. So that's a little upsetting, but it's not the end of the world. We still get the job done. So obviously what I'm doing right now is I'm just dragging the arena. We have a really awesome drag. I love to use this drag. It makes the sand, it like digs down so much and it makes the sand so much fluffier than what it was before. And I absolutely love it because when you walk on it for the first time, oh my God, it just feels like you're like riding on top of a cloud. Like it's amazing. I love it so much. And you know, there is nothing more satisfying than a freshly dragged arena. It is so satisfying to watch it get dragged. It's so satisfying to be dragging it like yourself or even like seeing a picture of just like a nice fresh dragged arena. And I honestly have this rule that if we drag the arena, you literally have to walk on the edge of the wall until someone finally goes in there with a horse to ride because I want it to look so perfect for anybody else who goes in there for the first time just so they can get that same feeling. And for those of you that don't know um, why we drag the arena is we drag the arena because it, one, it helps with the sand, it helps like fluff it up so sometimes the sand will get really packed down so you'll see that there's like those little pegs on it um, on the drag that are digging into the ground to like re-level it out now re-leveling and dragging are a couple like different things they're not exactly the same thing but they are pretty similar but so basically if you don't know what dragging the arena is for it's just to make sure that they're like covering up the holes and it's like re going through all the holes to make sure that there's not obviously like any crazy hole in the middle or tracks like if you're running barrels or something you'll leave like um, ruts around like your barrels from like the horse digging down so far with like their legs um, so that we basically drag the arena so it's the same thing also a lot of people at our barn will lunge in this arena obviously so all of the sand tends to get packed down in the middle where they're standing and then we just do this to help re-fluff it all back up. So here I am finishing up on my last lap of dragging the arena. Um, I swear it feels like it takes so long, but in reality I'm pretty sure it was only like six or seven minutes that it took me to drag the arena. But again, it's so worth it because it just looks so nice and it's so nice to ride in when you're done. And here I am just kind of dragging the outdoor a little bit. So unfortunately we don't have sand in our outdoor arena. We just have dirt. So it just recently rained at our barn quite a bit. So we actually had it pretty wet. And even today while I was dragging it, it was still a little too wet almost to drag in some spots. So you'll see over in the left corner, I didn't get very close because it was kind of muddy over there. That was like a low spot for us. Um, but so, the best thing to like help it dry out faster is to actually drag it a little bit. So I did drag it quite a bit this morning just so I could, you know, hopefully the sun can hit it. It's not exactly as hot as it normally is, so it's pretty cold. So usually this will help dry it up faster. And now here I am just setting up for my drill for today's video.
Oh, she wants to play with the, the rope. So she was doing that with your freaking rain the other day, and you're like, yeah. getting. literally almost this one right here is 15 one ow oh, her funny. tail just got my whole hand right there is level and there's like about a half an inch so she's like i'm like trying to show it 15 and a half i literally just like trying to show it over your head filming this. She's so interested in what you're That's doing. My shirt. She's like, Do you have a peppermint in there for me? Yeah, mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Freaking chicken stuck in the wall again over here. I heard it before. Oh, is it like literally stuck in the wall? I would like to just add that this is the kind of stuff we have to put up with at our barn. <laughs> Jesus. He's so distraught. I literally feel. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Reins. So, today we are going to be working on a drill, and it's going to be with three barrels. Now, I don't know if this one has a name and if it does let me know because I like honestly don't know what it's called I feel like I made it up a while ago but I don't actually know if somebody else has ever done this in the past or like whatever uh, but so we're just gonna call this the three drum drill this is kind of something that you want to do after your horse is like a little warmed up but I use this more as a warm-up for my horses more so than, you know, an exercise. Like I use it as both. Like we're not doing this like running or anything. Um, we're usually doing it at a walk and at a trot. So it's a really good warm up for them. It really helps them get really bendy and really loose and it also gets them really quick on their feet. And you'll see why in a little bit. So all we're gonna do is you're gonna pick away. So I'm going this way. So I'm gonna turn um, to the right first. So what I'm gonna do is we're just going to turn it like we would turn a barrel. So I'm pulling her out, giving her a pocket, and then I'm gonna turn her in, starting to close it off, and then exiting, it's nice and closed off, you're nice and close to it, and then right away, you're going to move her over again. Now you can set the barrels up in any like space that you want. Um, I even set these up a little close, but the closer together that you set these, the closer together that you set these, um, the quicker that your horse has to be on their feet. So if you set them up further apart, it 
it's probably better to start with them a little further apart because it kind of helps, you know, we're only going to be doing this at a trot today, so it doesn't really have to be set up that far apart. But if your horse is not that like quick at moving over and, you know, they're still learning a lot of stuff, which is what this drill helps with a lot, um, maybe set them up a little further. So exiting, as I'm exiting, I'm going to start moving her over into my next pocket. and then starting to close her off and exit. And then even sometimes what I'll do is I'll use this as like my entire day of exercise. So it'll be like my entire workout for my horse. And sometimes what I'll do even is I'll set up trot poles on the opposite side and then we'll go over the trot poles on this side and we'll just continue around the arena, you know, five times one way, five times the other way um, as like their exercise for the day. So I'm going to pick her up in a trot. I might have to move these a little further apart, but they should be fine. Um, opening up her pocket and exiting. And then see how you got to move over right away again. one way, um, we're going to switch around, change directions, and do it the other way. And like I had said, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this drill. Um, and you can add so many things to it, and I will do another video. This is just like the basic, basic steps of this drill. But this really helps them with their circles. So horses, that run barrels need to have perfect circles, you know?
continue to go forward. So that's where we're going to leave off today. I'm going to do another video where we're going to kind of add just a little bit more to this drill. I have, like I said, so many drills that I plan on showing you guys. It's just the fact of like getting them out there for you. So I hope you kind of liked the style of this video a little bit more than like, you know, a more formal like sit down and we, you know, are really like diving into it. Um, it was kind of fun to like bring you throughout my day and like what I usually do at least once a week for like my routine. Um, and then like my tacking up and stuff like that's always fun to watch too. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. That way I know that you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting out for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or any ideas for videos or anything like that. And be sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you can stay updated with future videos that I put out for you guys. And make sure that you have the little notification bell on. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.